Hey everyone, Rob here from Octagon. I'm showing you in this little tutorial three methods I know for vertically aligning buttons within tiles such as what you see on the screen. And this is uh, method number two. We covered method number one uh, in a previous video. And um, method number one included only settings that you can have uh, that are available to you within the Divi Builder. Um, this second method, uh, we're actually going to use some custom CSS, uh, actually only a single line of custom CSS, so it is still relatively simple. Um, so basically, just to um, cover the problem again, um, so you have typically a, a very standard, I suppose, style of uh, design component where you've got um, a section with a, a couple of columns or, or tiles, and you've got content in them. Um, with buttons or something down the bottom that are at different heights because there are differing amounts of content within those tiles. And what we want to do is we want to align them all the same, the buttons, um, uh, vertically with each other. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply, um, a, we're going to set a height to the module. And the way we're going to do that, first of all, we have to find out what the height is and then you have to write the CSS for it. So. I'm going to show you the way I find the height. You can, what you can do is you can just keep trying different heights until you get the one that fits. But what I always do is I um, jump over to the the front end of the um, of the front end page. So what people actually see, hit inspect. So right click and then hit inspect. And what you do is you find in here that this is all the HTML code. It may look a bit crazy, but if you just hover over it, eventually you'll see it. The, there you go. The blue. ETP blurb content basically that has our bl that represents our blurb module so it doesn't include the um, the button below it and what we basically you do this to the blurb that is the torso so of the three blurbs we have our left one is the torso that's why we've got that here and just under the highlighted blue section you can see that it is telling us the pixel dimensions. And I'm, as soon as I move my mouse, it's going to leave. But if you look around this sort of space on my screen, you'll see it. There you go. And it's telling us that it's um, 223.77 pixels wide by 384 pixels. So what we can do is if we set a minimum height of approximately 30, 384 pixels to all of our blurbs, that will mean our buttons should line up. So let's give that a go. So back over to our Visual Builder. Um, actually, we don't have to set it to the initial one because it's already at the right height. So let's go to our second blurb, CSS, main element. Uh, I'm going to say min height. You could just set height. Um, but I'm going to do min height. And it was a 384 pixels. I'm going to copy that. You can already see that it's um, actually working for us, CSS, main element, there we go, all lovely and vertically aligned. Now the downside to this method is when you start to look at tablet and mobile sizes. That one looks great, but you can start to see here, the space starts to open up a little bit too much, and that's because it's still retaining a fixed height, which is the 384 pixels, on is what is in reality a, a, um, a fluid space or a fluid size. So I have used that on occasion, but you do have to play with it, especially on your different screen sizes, and make sure you are happy with the spaces that it gives you. And basically that will come down to the quantity of difference in content within each tile. So that's Method number two, some upsides and downsides to it, but it's, uh, it's good to know. 